Okay, here we are on the vector.com uh, image editing software, and uh, just a very quick uh, drawing there of a of a house uh, with a door and uh, two windows. Um, what I want to do today is just have a look at the different types of files that are created depending on the type of compression we use. And we do that by clicking on export. And you'll see that it's automatically giving us the size of the file. So the preview there and the size of the file there is 49.4 kilobytes. That's kilo means a thousand bytes. So that's 49.4 thousand bytes. Uh, we can see here that the quality of this particular image is set to 100%. The size will remain the same, 640 by 640. But let's see what happens if we drop the quality down to 50%. Okay, now you might have noticed a bit of uh, blurriness or pixelation that's occurred in the image as we drop that quality down to 50%. The size is exactly the same. Um, in terms of the width and height, but you can see here that the file size has reduced significantly. And that's down to the method of compression that's used. Now this type of compression in a JPEG is a lossy compression. So therefore we start to notice certain pixels missing. But our brain still works to fill in the gaps. Okay, So we can still see the, the general outline of the, of the image, the house, the colors, etc. Let's see what happens if we drop it down to 0%. Okay, now you notice a very significant change in the pixelation of the image. Uh, we're starting to see some real uh, blurriness around the window edges. You can see the actual uh, squared uh, pixels here around the circles. The colors are starting to blur in um, and we've actually ended up um, creating a file which is only 4.4 KB. So we've now gone down by a factor of 10 almost uh, in terms of reducing the file size, but the quality is also significantly poor. Let's see what happens if we change the type of image that's being used and we keep the, the, the image at 100%. So let's go and see if we can change this to a PNG format. Now a PNG format, remember, is a lossless so we don't lose any of the quality of the image but you can see straight away the difference there in terms of the transparency so we don't have those uh, that the outside layer uh, colors sorry and we also find that the, uh, the, the the compression has allowed us to reduce the file size by a significant amount of, of kilobytes so it's now 26 kilobytes as opposed to the 40 uh, 49 that it was before in the JPEG, right? 49.4. But we haven't seen a visual change in the quality of the image, and that's just the way that the image is being compressed uh, for a PNG. Let's try SVG as well, see how that works. And again, we've got a significant reduction in the file size, 1.9 kilobytes now. Um, and the image quality remains almost exactly the same. So these two types of compression, the SVG and the PNG, are lossless. We don't lose quality. Uh, however, uh, we, we are able to save a significant amount of data there. So we can understand that actually using these file types, uh, a PNG and SVG, might be more worthwhile where we have less storage in the device. Or we might want to use them for web pages uh, where we want to transmit the data and the images very quickly. There you have it. That's a very short example, an experiment, so uh, uh, to show you the difference between a, a lossy and a lossless type of image compression.